certainly a, a scout for, for Blackpool. Not one of the fancy sides, I guess. I mean, a threadbare squad. No, I think a lot of people's tip for relegation, actually. I think a few people thought they might struggle. And, and it's early days, they might still. But um, but they've, they've, they'll be really heartened by the way they've started the season, I think. And Paul Ince is a, it's an interesting choice as manager. Here's Deeney, edge of the box. Deeney with the shot and Jilks has to fist it over the bar. That just picked up pace once Deeney lift Deeney's uh, right foot. And Jilks will be very pleased that it was pretty much straight at him. It's a good strike, good strike from Troy. And again, Diego Fabrini really heavily involved in the build-up there of a little layoff. And uh, again, Broadfoot not really concentrating, I felt, there. And leaving Deeney slightly unmarked and allowing Deeney time to get that shot away. And again, a little chink in the uh, Blackpool defensive armour. Barry Ferguson has placed this free kick. It's, what, 10 yards up from the goal line, about a yard outside the penalty area on the left-hand side of the area. He comes up right-footed. He goes for the far corner. Almunia tips it over the bar. He was well-positioned, was Manuel Almunia. He had to be. He makes a good save and concedes the corner. Smart bit of goalkeeping from Almunia. Yep, alert and on his toes. Now McGugan thumps it forward, looking for Deeney. Deeney heads it down, Forestieri edge of the box. Forestieri turns onto his left foot, fires the shot in, it's just wide! Just wide, and I think again there are options to his right. Jilks couldn't get there, it bounced a foot wide of the left-hand post. Wow. The last chance for Watford and has gone. Left.